Hello, my name is Warrior3456. Today we'll be opening it to Pokemon Mini Tins. And I believe these are Twilight Masquerade Mini Tins, but I'm not entirely sure. So we will be opening these. I'm pretty much going in blind. Saw these at Walmart in line and decided, well, in the <laughs> checkout line and decided, you know, I'll take a crack at these. So let's see what we get. I was honestly looking for more 151 Mini Tins, but... We'll see what we can get, and these come... Oh, they're Paradox Rift, okay. Not a big deal, Paradox Rift is cool. And what do these contain? Just little cards and info about the Pokemon shown. And let's go ahead and see what we get. Oh, Paradox Rift and Obsidian Flames, okay, that's cool. And I have no clue what these tins are officially named. The back literally says nothing. It just says, oh, Vibrant Palladia Mini Tin, okay. There we go, and the more you know. Okay, they are quite vibrant. Their art is what drew me to it. Mainly because my Walmart's still carrying a lot of the Sword and Shield uh, boxes and stuff like that, special collections, and hell, just regular, you know, and I'm still honestly not finding much. So you got Gumi, and you got your ghost, uh, what is this guy called? Ledge. okay, for some reason I was thinking Spear Ledge, like a spirit, but nope. Okay, we got two Paradox Rift, two Obsidian Flames, and that's honestly a pretty good opening in my book. All right, we got a chance to get something cool out of Obsidian Flames. Um, I'm not entirely sure what was in Paradox Rift uh, off the top of my head that I wanted, but... Who knows, maybe we'll find something cool. I think Ace Spec cards are what was the big deal in that set, but I could be wrong. And let's see what we can pull out of this uh, first Obsidian Flames pack. And uh, hopefully we can make a pretty decent video here. And we start off with a Psychic Energy. We have my boy Wiglet, Barboach. We have Lechonk. Tadbulb, Camerupt, Paladian Clod Sire, Granbull, Magnemite, Sharkadet, and Scizor. Okay, nothing great out of that first pack of Obsidian Flames. Hopefully we can clutch up with the second one here and pull something good. And let's see. I hope to maybe make some videos on the Poker Rogue which is basically a roguelike Pokemon game where you kind of got to start over and see how many battles you can make it through. It's honestly a pretty fun game. You get to choose a st like your basic group of starters, and then you get from there, you can catch Pokemon while you're playing, and then they get added to what you can use when you start. And basically, it just kind of keeps on going from there, and you got to manage money and items, and you can't use the items in battle, but only afterwards, which is cool that I like. And there's a mechanic where you can basically like the Japanese gotcha machines where you can get eggs and basically get Pokemon from that and egg moves. And if you don't know what a gotcha machine is, it's basically just a... Uh, like a gumball machine or like one of those toys where you pop like a quarter in there and it, you get like a little plastic figure or one of those little ninja dudes if anybody knows what i'm talking about either way we have a steel energy we have shuckle wiggle it again rock rough rhyme diggersby soul rock houndoom time pole togodomaru and intake damn Okay, I was hoping for something good out of Obsidian Flames. Let's see what we can pull out of Paradox Rift. Maybe it'll surprise us and we'll get something uh, good. Or maybe amazing, even. Alrighty, so we got a Fighting Energy this time. We have Elekid. I like Elekid, he's one of my favorites. We have Tinkatuff, Trubbish. Of course, I say that about every video about different Pokemon. We have Krussel. We have Orphworm, who honestly is not one of my favorites. We have Toad's Cruel. We got Screamtail, Vanillish, Absol. And on the end, we have Rourk. Okay, honestly, a nice full art trainer. Or so, yeah, trainer. It's technically a supporter, but they throw trainer in there too. So I guess it's technically both. Nice. We got a freaking secret rare, Rourke. 
honestly, he's not bad. He's basically just Sinnoh Brock, but that's cool. I bet a lot of people around my age have fond memories of the first gym battle in uh, Pearl and what is the other one? Diamond. Of course, I was a platinum child, but my, my first Pokemon game officially, well, I had Pokemon Ranger first because my mom didn't know the difference. And then my uh, first like actual Pokemon game, like the main series RPGs, I would say was, yeah. No, she got me Soul Silver, and then I had a hissy fit because I was in third grade and I wanted Heart Gold because I thought Ho Oh looked cool. And then we went and traded that out, and I got Ho Oh, that game, which blew my mind as a child. And honestly, I had like 360 hours in my first save file of Heart Gold, and then unfortunately, uh, the games were left around my uncle who had a drug addiction and i don't know if he sold them or one of his girlfriends his kids got into him you know when he was supposed to be giving them to me and took them for himself because let's face it there are some evil little kids out there so we're gonna go ahead and start off with uh what is this a fighting energy again we have dewblade surskit shut up with story time and get to open in the cards we have magby flamigo we have Zeb Strika, Luxurious, Luxurious Cape. That was a hard one. We have Apom. We got Chiyu, which is honestly one of my favorite Pokemon new ones. And we have Wiglet. And on the end, we have Low Kicks. Honestly, that is a cool looking Pokemon, but it's also a bug type, so it's basically worthless. Either way, I did get something good for opening these tins. We got Rourke here, nice secret rare, full art trainer. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it really does help out my YouTube channel. Um, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, um, a comment if you want to uh, discuss something in said video. Feel free to join my Discord server, link to join in the description of the video. Um, don't forget to uh, uh, click the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I upload a video. And thank you guys for watching and goodbye.